Hey guys, we've been getting a few requests to see our milking setup, so I was going to bring you along with me this morning while I did the milking and show you everything that we have and how we do things. Our milk processing area is actually in our laundry room. We have everything set up. We have a huge double stainless steel sink and a dishwasher um, that is pretty much dedicated just to milking. All of our milking supplies are up here. And then we also store our machine in here. We have a machine from Midi Supply. This is the Molasti. I've been very pleased with this machine. It's worked well and the cleanup is super easy. And so I would highly recommend these machines. Over here we have our milk refrigerator. This is where we store any and all of our extra milk until we need it for the refrigerator inside. We also store random pizzas. <laughs> And here is what we call our storeroom. Basically right now, it is full of junk. We are in the process of organizing all of this mess. But through here, is our milking station. In the mornings, I don't even have to go outside. I come out here and he meets me right there at the gate and we get busy milking. First thing we have to do is sterilize the bucket. We just run a bleach solution through it. It runs through the lines and the cloth and into the bucket and it just makes sure everything's sterilized. First we fill up this bucket full of hot water and we add two ounces of the bleach and that becomes our disinfectant solution. <laughs> We use just regular household bleach. So while the bucket is filling up, I put this bucket onto the machine and then just snap on the lid. And it is ready for the solution to run through to clean it. All right, so our bucket is full of water and bleach. And now we take the cloth. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the machine. And we're going to pull this up and that stops the suction so that no water or anything will be sucked through yet. Once I put it in the solution and kind of swish it around and submerge it, I'll push this down and that starts the suction and it allows the solution to go through the lines and into the bucket. No suction. If you place it in, and nothing's happening because that button is up. Now, whenever I push the button, suction. Gonna let it suck the rest of this out. And it's going into the line and into the bucket. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
is down in the bucket. Pour the solution out. And I kind of roll the bucket to both sides to make sure the solution has covered the entire inside of the bucket. And then I just let it drain completely out. And I replace the bucket. All right, so we've got it disinfected and now we're ready to milk. Now all I do is I wheel it around and get stuck on the carpet. So now I just wheel it around and we go through here. And this is a lot easier to do with two hands. We just go through here. This door. Go through. Okay, so now I need to gather my supplies for milking. We use. Vinegar, coconut oil, and this is our post up. And then we get this bucket here and a rag. And that's what we use to wash her off with. We fill this with hot water. And now we're ready to give her some feed. So these are our feed buckets. One has her feed in it. The other has alfalfa pellets. The alfalfa is what we give her to help increase her um, cream. We get a much better cream line whenever she gets a scoop of alfalfa. And she doesn't get much. Just a little scoop. The last thing we do is we give her four vitamin E capsules. Like human grade capsules. If you ever have that cow aftertaste with your milk, vitamin E really helps with that. Um, especially depending on the time of year, what they're eating. It can kind of change the flavor of the milk. So vitamin E really helps level that out and gives you a good sweet flavor. All right, and she is right here waiting on us because she hears me talking. So, let's let her in. Good morning, Miss Eleanor. Good morning. She's a sweet girl. 
and I better quit talking and start milking because she will eat all of her food and she'll be ready to get out. So basically I just closed her head in the stanchion here. That way she cannot back out as I am milking because that might have happened a couple times. <laughs> all right, so you can see her udders are actually pretty clean. She doesn't really get that dirty. Um, I just take and run my hand around. She does have a little bit of dirt over here. I just try to knock off any big stuff that she has, like any leaves or anything like that that's stuck on her. I just knock that off with my hand. This camera is actually really helpful. Maybe I need to get a mirror. All right. So she feels pretty good. All right, what I do now is I spray off with a vinegar solution, just vinegar and water. I'm going to spray down each of the teats. I'm kind of in between. And I get my rag that was in the hot water. And basically I use a corner for each teat. And just wipe it off. And then I use the middle of the rag to go between, in between, and flip the rag over, and just do a quick run around the outside. And that rag gets hung up to dry. And then once a week, I run a load of rags with bleach and hot water to get those clean. So next, we use our coconut oil. And I just squirt a little bit in my hands. And run it down each teat. That just gives it some lubrication with the milker. Because sometimes if I didn't use it, she would have blisters form on her teats. And that's not good for anybody. So the last thing I do is for each teat, I run or I strip about three squirts and I just waste it on the ground. Give each one an extra little squirt there. And so now we're ready to milk. We turn it on. And you take the claw and you flip it upside down. You want to make sure that these are pinched off so they're folded back. And that creates suction. So we're going to fold it up and we're just going to stick it on. That easy. It's already starting to pull milk. And we'll just sit here until we're done. She's almost done. You can see these front have stopped, and this back one is still going just a little bit. I like to get in there and massage each of the quarters. And 
just make sure that I get any of that last milk or cream left up in there. I break that up in the other and bring it down. I do now is I pull the stopper on the bottom here and that stop suction again and then I just hold on to these because well she's gonna kick the camera pull it off the bottom and I just hold on to these because once the suction stops they just slide off Hang that back up there and turn it off. The last thing I do is spray her off with the post dip. Some people dip, some people spray. Make sure to get each teeth covered really well. she is finished with her food so she's wanting to get out and I just release her up here and she backs out herself now when she backs out Here comes Merida. Good girl. So Merida's gone in. And Eleanor's out. And I'm just going to try to shut this gate so Miss Eleanor stays out. Then Miss Merida says, Where's my food? Don't you, sweet girl? So Merida is our little heifer in training. She won't be bred until next summer. But we let her come and get some green in the stand or some pellets in the stand to get her used to being in here and being touched and rubbed on and loved on and her udders touched. And people messing back here. Yeah, I'm going to be a great milk cow. <laughs>